Hey guys, Ankh Gaming back with you again for some more Crusader Kings 2. Last time we conquered Briefne, and I'm sorry guys, I uh, when I saved the video, the audio seemed really loud on my playback. When I uploaded it to YouTube, it was almost inaudible. So I'm very sorry about that. So if you missed any uh, commentary because you couldn't hear it, basically I just talked about how we're going to take this over, how, the reason I hired the troops, and things like that. I was very shocked that their little raiding force was killing my country quicker than I was sieging their country. Quite annoying. I thought for sure I'd win the base race, essentially, but I was losing, so I had higher troops, wiping out some of our gold. But no big deal. We'll make that money back. We got two places now we're losing money. That will change quickly. Um, we got our counselors all doing work. Now we do have Earl Aid of Briefne. He became our vassal when we conquered him because it was a Ducal claim, not a fabricated claim. Fabricated claims, I become the ruler of the zone. And I get rid of the old guy. And same if I take it over in like a war. You know, like that's basically the only kind of war, but so let's get going back here. Take it off, pause. So let's see, let's see what's up with our vassal. Church priest celibacy and my friends try to lure me into hedonism. Show me the pleasures of life. Ooh, I really can't decide if I want to enjoy my life or wait for heaven. So if I do that, I'll gain prestige and I'll gain fertility. I'm old. Doesn't really help me. Um, this way I gain... I'm not going to have any more kids anyways. How old's my wife? Let's look at this. She's old. We're not having any more kids. Uh, being a hedonist is not necessarily a good thing. Um, I think celibate would be better off. I think my wife will dislike me either way, but whatever. I mean, she's too old to have kids anyways, this old woman. So, we're just getting ready for our dude to die. He wants to have a daughter still, that's not going to happen. I'm celibate, whatever. Even though I am flamboyant. Anyways, back to this guy. Let's see. I can't build on his grounds, this is going to be up to him. But let's see what he thinks of me. So he is my vassal. He's his own marshal now. Oh, my liege, since I've arrived in Canoc, there's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing station there. Under our guidance, blah, 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 blah. Good. We need to rebuild our troops here, so that's great. We need him cont to continue his work. Uh, she was about manageable, but I started to notice the other sex and felt envious. <laughs> the other sex and felt envious. Alright, so this is funny. Uh, I can go ahead and get Sweet Temptation now, which I've never heard of, but this is a buff that gives me 20 vitality. Basically, I'm jealous of everyone else having sex, and I want to have sex. But Or I could stay strong and have even less fertility, but I gain church opinion, which is good, in my opinion. My guy's not having kids. We'll stay strong. We will keep it in the pants. Keep it in the pants. Keep it in the pants. Alright, back to this dude. He sucks. He's uh, ambitious, and I do not like that trait. His heir is a chick. So I can marry her to my son. Let's try to do that. We'll arrange her marriage to... Is he my eldest? No, he is. What? You don't want to marry my son? Ooh, I could arrange a matrilineal marriage, though. Marry my younger son off to his daughter. Wouldn't that be interesting? Uh, I guess maybe I can't. Oh, oh, it would be betrothal. I can't arrange a marriage until she's old enough. That's right. That's right. Okay. The one thing I can do is, can I educate his child? I can. I can't. Okay, never mind. I'm stupid. That'd be great if I could make her study under me, since I'm the duke. Alright. And let's get time going back a little bit quicker. I think everything's pretty much set up. We're training troops, we're researching, we're researching... My vassals all like me. I only have three, but they like me. He does not like me as much as he should, but that's fine. 
Let's make sure all of our vassals... Ooh, he is not married. Let's get this dude married. Um, no, we're gonna arrange your marriage. We want you to have offspring. Since you like us, we do not want you married to... Uh, well, these women all suck. You know what? I will let him marry the glutton. Deal with it. You got a fat wife, dude. But you like me a whole lot. Yep. What about him? I can't marry him. He's a chaplain. Can't marry him off. And my court? How does my court think of me? Oh, my court loves me. Lowest is this guy who I fired from a position at one point. He's a pretty decent dude, though. Except for he's deceitful and a hedonist. I don't know what this hair lip means. Less than charming trait. Alright. So we're zipping along here. Now our gold situation is we're gaining 106 a month. That's right where we used to be. Actually, you know, this would be a good time. My king is very well liked. Let's change the law. Feudal levies is actually normal. That's very nice. Um, feudal taxation, though. This is what we want. We want to get taxed from our our vassals because as we grow, um, I want to go ahead and incur the vassal opinion hit now while I can. It's going to be tough on my son when he takes over a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. I mean, it's not going to be a huge gain, but it's some. Um, and I can take a 10-point hit. I could go to Harsh, take a 30-point hit. That seems awful. Also, Vassal Levies, I, I don't think I need all of them. I think I could lower it down, but we're not going to yet. Alright, so, really like to get this claim. But in reality, we're just going to have to burn off some years. Let's go super speed. And just ticking, ticking, ticking away. And is that wall changed? Not yet. Oh, I hit cancel. My bad. Now our gold income should come up. Duke, the more I study wall design and religion, the more I feel compelled. Oh, no. No! My own court chaplain is becoming a cultist, basically. Waldenism is gonna be like a form of Christian Christianity, but it's not Christian it's not Catholic. So the Pope will hate me, which means all these people will hate me. It's very bad. I am not going to do this. I did it once before. Bad, bad idea. I thought, oh you know, whatever. It's cool. Yeah, don't don't take care of these. You know what? I'm gonna arrest this guy. And now I need to give my child a guardian, again. So bad. Is this my eldest? Yeah. My eldest grandson? Um... Not the deceitful hedonist. Trusting, craven, just... Oh, that's me! Haha. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll educate you. I can use a little stress. Alright, now I gotta replace my chaplain. He wasn't like that great anyways. Ooh, the guy who dislikes me. My hair-lipped, hedonist, deceitful, brave, diligent, just, charitable. Wait, he's deceitful, but he's just. So, eh, whatever. He would like to be my steward, but my steward is an 11. So I think he's going to become... Ooh, you know what? Forget that. Let's get a couple people into my court. And maybe we can do something. Yeah, we'll go on a grand hunt. I will find the white stag. I'll invite a chick to court. And let's try... Two holy men. Let's see what we got now. Oh yeah, we scored. This guy is a 12. He's honest, cynical, lustful. 
Oh man, this guy's a lustful and a hedonist. But he has a stutter. That just cracks me up. But this dude likes the ladies, but he's a little shy about getting out there. So he's the guy who, like, peeps around the corner at him, I guess. He's good at intrigue, but he's a really terrible at piety. Eh, whatever. Whatever, bro. You got the job, you sicko. I want you to improve my relations here in Kildare for when I take it over. Why not? I mean, you gotta like me. I just... Ooh, wait a second. Who's my bishop? Am I in charge of the bishop? Frick. Do I not have a bishop anymore? Yeah, he's in jail. So if I release him, my vassals will like me. If I execute him, no good. I could ransom him, which would just give me gold. But you know what? He is. Uh... Alright, come back to the right faith. Uh, I submit to your counsel and follow the Catholic faith. Alright, I don't know that I want to let him out, but he does like me a lot again. I think I ransom him off just to get the free gold. I wouldn't mind having my bishop out of prison. He already likes me. Executing him would be bad. I don't need the favor. I don't need the um, opinion. But I could use gold. You can always use gold. Yeah, I gained 10 prestige, great. I accept paying your ransom for the safe return of myself. That's funny. Basically, I shook him down. Look, he, he still likes me in 85. I mean, that's pretty good. This guy still doesn't, so I might need to work on my... Um, what's this guy doing? Fabricating claims. Yeah, there's not much I can do. Whatever. I could award him an honorary title. Let's do that. I'll make you my cupbearer. You might die. That'll work for me. Alright. Hopefully the music isn't too loud. I did turn it up a hair because I couldn't hear it. And the music in this game is just awesome. So the days are just marching by. Duke Aid the Old is just getting older. He's 58. He'll be 59 before long. Oh, it's come to my attention that the Chancellor of whatever has bribed oh no he's made a claim on my land okay so basically what just happened and he's decided to go ahead and use they always use it this dude right here has decided that he thinks he has a claim on my land truth is bro you don't have a claim on my land because you come at me you gonna get squished so I wish you would I wish you would bro I wish you would that's all I gotta say all I gotta say. So, Aid the Old is 58. Temptations are everywhere! Uh. So, I could become a hedist, hedonist still. Like, it still wants me to become a hedonist, but I'm 50 freaking 8 years old. I may want a daughter, but I don't want one that bad. I only want a daughter because I ain't got nothing else to do. We're gonna stay celibate. Raise that score. Give me that piety. After a long, long time, feels like I could, as if I could bear to live in complete celibacy for the rest of my life. Uh, yeah, I don't think I actually. Ooh, what does the trait celibate do actually? I'm curious. Um, I am not sure what it does. I would like to know. I mean, if it gains me a lot of piety quickly, then I'll do it. All right. I don't remember what the symbol looks like. It's a blue one. Poet, I've never seen that before. Pregnant? Oh. Celibate. I think it just looks like a cross, right? What's that? Falconer? Okay. Weak? <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Come on. There's no celibates in my kingdom. Or I missed them, and you guys are like, you're an idiot, you missed it. Alright, we gotta have a celibate. An impaler? Oh, that's awesome. I want my king to be an impaler. I already looked this right, Falconer. I can't believe I don't have a celibate. Oh, there we go. One piety a month. So I would get 12 a year. Or I could gain 21. So if I think he's going to live at least two years, celibate's better. Yeah, let's do it. I no longer want to have a daughter. That's fine. Can I choose a new ambition? Kill my wife. Um, what's this one? Pi prestige of a thousand, not gonna happen. Piety of 500, not gonna happen. Personal wealth of 500, not gonna happen. Whatever. I'm not gonna actually try to kill. Maybe I will try to kill my wife. Would anyone join the plot? This guy would for five. So whenever you're trying to do a plot, such as killing your wife, which you always have the option to do, the percentage here tells you how much plot power they add to your plot power. Thumbs up tells you if they will jo join. Thumbs down means no. So really no one wants to kill my wife. They like her. But these are like victory conditions. So once I reach 50% uh, plot power and have at least one backer, I'd have a 40% chance to kill her, 60% chance to fail and be caught um, at 75%, 65% percent chance of success, and at 100% I have a 90% chance of success. Alternatively, I think I can just assassinate her and that works too. Or if she dies of natural causes, I succeed. So, whatever, we'll leave it. I can cancel it, but it, it does me no harm. I'm the king. Alright, let's get moving. So our piety is going up almost two a month. Wow. We're Che? What's Chase do? I forgot. So negative fertility. My dude was never having kids. We should have just realized that early on. Okay guys, and actually I'm going to go ahead and call this a video here. Let's hit pause check out what this message is. Um, ooh, actually, let's deal with this first. We are not calling it here. Known plots. Here's a known plot where this guy wants to kill a roll whatever the something or other. He's the heir to the county of Ames. So, whatever. Don't really care. My chancellor wants to kill this dude. Now, what we'll do in the next episode we will deal with these plots and thanks for watching guys tune in next time to see me deal with these evil evil murderers or would-be murderers thanks for watching guys and please subscribe